Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over how you can disable player collisions. Have you ever been trying to play your game, but other players are always in your way and keep bumping into you, and actually sometimes causing the game to be unplayable? If so, this is the system for you. Now, player collisions. Player collisions are liked and also disliked. Some people like them because then you're able to jump on players' heads and get to a special area, for example, but also some people really dislike them. For example, let's say you're playing a quite compact game and the area is quite small, for example, a doorway. You could have someone, a, a, another player, who would go and stand in the middle of the doorway and then wouldn't move. Now, any other Roblox character that came along and tried to access through that doorway, they wouldn't be able to because that other player is standing in the way, so they, they, they're kind of stuck, they, don't, they can't get through now. But without the player collisions, basically disabling the player collisions, then the player would be able to just walk straight through that, that other character who is blocking the walkway. So for starters, we want to make sure that our explorer is open. If our explorer is not open, we want to head up to the top bar here, click on view, and then enable explorer. I always keep my explorer and properties open simply because they're used in so many different ways, but you do not need to have the properties for this tutorial, just have Explorer right there enabled. Now, we wanna head over to our service group service located in our Explorer. We wanna click on the plus button next to our service group service and click on script. Now, this will go and create a script inside of our service group service. So now that you've inserted a script inside of your service script service, you wanna go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste in the new code. So now that you've inserted the code inside of your script in service script service, thankfully this is all already done for us, so we don't even need to actually go and change anything. So what we wanna do, head up here, click on the X button next to your script, and then we wanna click on over here next to where it says test on the top bar. We then want to go over here and select local server, make sure that it is in a local server. And then we want two players. Now this is just to make sure that it is working correctly and just to prove to you that it actually does work. So local server, two players. And if you, if you want to go test it out for yourself and make sure that it does work, feel free to go and do it just like how I am now. So local server, two players, and I'm going to go click start. And now this is going to open two different um, extra windows which have the gameplay on it so that we're able to do the test. So as you guys can see, we have now joined into the base plate. We've got player one and player two. And keep in mind, this is not this is my Roblox avatar, but it is not my main Roblox name and Roblox character, if that makes sense. We're player one, player two, and this is just for testing purposes. Now, if we go and walk into player two over here, you'll be able to see usually you'd be colliding and you would not be able to walk straight through them. But now, now that we've gone and inserted that code inside of our service script service, and we go and walk through our player now, you're able to see nothing is limiting us from walking through here. So again, if, if I have to go try and jump on his head, or ju jump on player two's head, I'll just e end up on the floor. Basically meaning that player two is, isn't actually necessarily here. I can, the collisions are disabled. I can walk straight through him, so now, let's say player two is blocking up a doorway here. I'm able to go, aha, you can't stop me now, and walk straight through, done and dusted. So as you guys can see, we have now just gone and disabled the player collisions. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket to my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But in a way, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell so you never miss another upload. And if you did really enjoy, please do consider liking the video also. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next Roblox Studio video.